and welcome to our presentation and vlog to the CEO of Campina. In this presentation, we make a number of recommendations to Campina about how we think Campina can be more sustainable in the Netherlands, but also in the rest of the world. We hope that Campina will benefit from our recommendations. Enjoy the vlog. So Campina does something wrong with their raw material gathering. Campina cows products methane, which Campina does no effort to capture some of it. The cow's health is also neglected. Campina way of harvesting milk is creating soy with bad health and this issues lots of water. Campina also use harmful beside it. Campina also does no recycling or use the materials like cow poop and by products from other companies. Now our solutions. Um, so Campina needs to invest in sustainable farming practices because Campina can work with farmers to implement sustainable farming methods uh, such as crop rotation, uh, cover cropping and reduce tillages. Uh, these practices can uh, help improve soil health, reduce water consumption and decrease the use of synthetic fertilizer and pesticides needed. Uh, because pesticides lower the health of the already bad soil and the cows. Um, and the soil also needs water to remain in good health, of course. Uh, but the system Campina uses uh, to grow its cows um, and grass um, makes it so that the cows stay on the same part of land for just too long, which reduces the soil health and increases water use. Now, it's important to know what crop rotation is. It's really simple. Uh, instead of keeping your cows on patch of land one, you, after a year or after like two years, you move your cows to patch of land two. And you do this, do this um, like, so you go from one to two to three to four. And uh, this way, uh, when you are at uh, patch of land four, the, the, the land in patch one is back to its original health. So this way um, you save a lot of water. You don't have to use pe pesticides and the soil can be used another time. Now, the second um, improvement we have is implementing recycling and composting programs. So Campina can set up recycling and composting programs to reduce waste and min minimize the amount of raw materials that need to be gathered. Now, the question remains, uh, what can Campina recycle and compost in their raw material gathering because it's just milk? Now, that is actually pretty simple the cow's poop and Campina can reuse this so they don't have to use the toxic pesticides and fertilizers uh, that are toxic to the earth. They can use this and the grass will grow much better. Now we also have something else that's pretty great. We work together with Heineke, Heineke during this product um, and now Heineke, uh, of course a beer producer, they have byproducts that come uh, with creating beer. Now Campina can use this uh, as cow food. For example, Heineken produces a byproduct that is high in protein, uh, such as spent grains from a brewing beer. And Campina could use this as a feed ingredient for their livestock. And now the byproducts the cows produce, uh, Heineken will actually use for their part of the growing and gathering sustainable materials. So that works on both ends. Now the third solution we have um, is that Campina needs to invest in R&D. Uh, Campina can invest in research and development to discover new, more sustainable methods of gathering their raw materials. So the professor uh, gave us a tip last week and he recalled it this morning. Uh, Campina can look into technology where uh, they try to recapture their greenhouse gases. Now, the, the technology is basically non-existent and it's not very known, uh, but it shouldn't be too hard as the professor explained to us. Now, come. Campina can also use microbes in wastewater. Uh, these microbes eat plastic, and this can, be, this can be implemented to make the wastewater a better quality to create a more eco-friendly way of dealing with their wastewater. So those were our solutions. But what is important to know is that Campina has a really general way of producing their products. So in the Netherlands and in Nigeria and in the other uh, 36 countries they have factories in, they do their production the same way. So they also gather their uh, raw materials the same way. So basically, uh, all the systems are the same in every country, in every factory. So for the Netherlands and Nigeria, these solutions can both be used. 
that was my presentation. Thank you. Hello, it's me again. Now, unfortunately, this is our last vlog. And as a part of this last vlog, we will be recalling some of our teamwork experiences. So about two months ago, we met each other for the first time. And from then on, we came a long way because we actually became a pretty close friend group. We talked privately with each other during the projects and held multiple good school meetings. We asked each other how our day went and even spent a lot of time talking about our private lives to see some differences between them Nigerians and us Dutchies. Now there are of course also some negatives. Something that was really difficult for us as a group was the given time for each project. As you guys know yourself, technology and Wi-Fi is a little less advanced in Nigeria than here in the Netherlands. So sending vlog parts or other vital information pieces was a task of its own. We sometimes could not communicate with each other for three days because of power outages. But we managed to work around that pretty well. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So this was our last vlog for now. But I'm sure we will keep in touch. Goodbye. Over the past few weeks, we have been working in a different form than usual. Our team has worked extremely well and with Jesse as the leader. The minor has been a very nice experience and it was nice to work with students from another country. Thank you all. Hello everyone. In my opinion, the cooperation with the Campina project has gone well. I found it very unique to work with students from Nigeria and to get to know each other. I've made a lot of progress as an individual, but also as a group. In the future, I would like to invite the students when they visit the Netherlands. In particular, I want to thank Johnny and Phoebe for the, for the work together. Thank you. Hello guys, for the last uh, few weeks, I had some discussion with some of my friends from the uh, Netherlands and uh, a few from Nigeria. We had a discussion on the value chain of Campina and we had a really, really nice time. I and uh, some of my friends, they include uh, Jesse and uh, Floris and Twin. Also, we had some from Nigeria, Phoebe and James. They were part of the team. We had a nice time and then we were able to map out the value chain that uh, Campina uses. We also were able to come about some recommendations that we hope that uh, if Campina put in place, it will really go a long way to help in improving on their business. Thank you so much. In Dutch, we call it Bandots. Hello everyone, I'm Fabian Perella and it was glad working with your team. I got to meet and know a lot of people and I look forward to seeing you physically and working with you physically also. Thank you. Bye bye.